of all the disturbing things we've seen from this anime. Does the meatball made of the dead, the kid eating his own dad's meatballs, okay? Is that more disturbing than the previous arc where the dad had to have sex with the daughter to have these babies? I don't know, man. I think the meatball's coming pretty close. We're in the middle of something fucking good. Let's begin today's reaction. Meatballs, meatballs, meatballs. Meatballs. So like the kid sees everyone as the mom, right? Doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl. No, everybody is like the mom and she's and he's gonna hang them, right? No more meatballs. Eat your fucking meatballs. Go away. No more meatballs. At least give us some sauce, man. And you know if there was sauce made with those meatballs? It would have made up that it, it would be dad sauce too, you know? Okay, the lady he just killed? I thought that she would perform more because she's on the side of like these like new new enemies, right? Of like humans possessed by spirits, but god damn, they were fucking weak. But you never know. The soul might have like escaped from the host body and left somewhere else. One of the strongest S-rank spirits out there. Really. Like, of all the S-ranks, this is the strongest. Well, this is one of the strongest, but you know. Yeah, then you're dead. Oh, she already got made into meatballs. Ah, I see, I see, I see. So he just keeps eating it. <laughs> gets stronger. This guy's unstoppable. We need to take that fucking book from him, bro. Are we in there? We're not in there yet, I don't think. No, 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 we are. Isn't that Yayo in the far right? How do we catch this kid's book? <laughs> fucking, I, I don't know, like, throw some water at the sketchbook so that you can't draw on it. That's an interesting condition though, huh? Like our graduates can't come out to help us because they just get immediately turned to meatballs. It's already too late. Third grader meatball incoming. Wait! Was it ever able to do that? The kangaroo one? I thought it just like pierces, but... Okay, it's a fucking laser beam sword too. I... This one, you know what? This might be one of the cooler ones. Baldi! Baldi alien do something! Nah, 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 we got extra lot. It'd be crazy though, if we just killed off K right now. Third grader meatballs right now. We? Bro, you do something, move! You know, Eiko still has that one guardian. Uh, remember the one from the cave? But even if she comes out, wouldn't she die? They turn into a meatball? A lot of death flags like that when you talk like that, but I don't think any of them are gonna die. It doesn't make sense right now. Okay! K got the fucking kangaroo one too. Laser beam. Yeah, that one's K. Ooh. So, we only had the kangaroo left, right? Does that mean the alien is done? Or how does that work? Does that mean that the alien baldy one is done? Ooh. That's a slime one, yeah? Oh, it can keep regenerating. Because the slime properties? Wait. Eiko might have like an infinite amount of lives. Laser beam. Choo, choo, choo. I'm not gonna make a comment about what's on Yayoi's lips there. Come on now, she's third grader. What? What, 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 what? Oh, we're locked. Shower door, probably like the kid's place, remember? Didn't the kid also get locked out or something? I don't know. It has to do with the kid though. It's the, uh, the mom and her boyfriends, yeah. And now Yayoi is like, you know, the kid. From the flashback. Just a loose, like, an illusion? Or would she actually die here? No, we got the slimes. We got the extra lives and slimes. It's going right through her. Illusion or no, no, the, the baldy is taking it. The baldy is taking it. Baldi had enough. You know what? Fuck it. This guy's been putting in a lot of work in the previous episodes. Can he just regenerate his form too? Like, he just got made of meatballs. His neck got cut, but he's just like fine. Shing, 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 shing. Oh, wh Wait, what? That's a rock. Made of a bunch of rope. I mean, it's tied to a rope. There it is. See, if the if the book gets wet, you can't draw on it anymore. Wait, what was that? What weapon was that? <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? Come at me, mother! They even beeped it. 
<laughs> they even beeped her saying, yo, you're a third grader. You should not be saying that. Then again, she's going around killing fucking spirits and shit. Like, come on now. Uh oh. Oh? oh it, wait, what? Transformation scene? Is this phase two? Did he just become super jacked? Wait, what is this? It is phase two. It actually looks kind of intimidating too, yeah? Ooh. Oh. Wait, it's unsealed. Yes, the sketchbook is done now. Release it. This is the escort from like last arc, right? Bedazzle us. That, see, every time you summon a graduate, you say something, right? It's like, roar, Zabimaru. <laughs> like, bedazzle us, whatever her name is. Holy shit, she has one hell of an intro. Wait. Let's see her face. Come on, still hiding with the fan. Oh shit, finally, we get to actually see her face and not like a soul sucking. Come on, soul sucking. But like her, uh, we didn't get to see her face last card, right? Cause it was always like distorted. Soul sucking, dude. This is, a, this is a fucking 10 year old, like a 12 year old kid versus a fucking soul sucking courtesan, dude. Let me be the 12 year old kid right now. Suck me all you want. She's actually talking too. Has any other graduate talk like this? I don't think they do. They just make a bunch of noises. <laughs> Meatball versus soul sucker. Oh, surely she's stronger than that. Come on. Huh? Wait, the laser beam didn't do anything. Oh god, it's just getting stronger, dude. Ooh, she's not looking too good now, is she? Ooh. Her face is fucking melting off. Oh, oh. Yeah, the lo this is what we saw at the love hotel, right? Like, I wanted to see what her face looked like, and she was looking like this. I was like, ah, I don't know about that, but... Huh? What is that guy? For who, though? What happens if you touch the butterflies? It's getting sucked. Soul sucking, right? It sucks the souls. Oh, it's got multiple stages too? The uh, the war veteran also had like multiple phases. And then she's back. Okay, good. Okay, butterfly sucks the souls, gives her, gives her the energy and then... More beautiful? She's gonna become even more beautiful the more she sucks? That's kind of insane. She scales off of the strength of her opponent. She'll get as strong as, you know, the more she sucks. <laughs> Maybe. He made some meatballs out of you. Wait, he can keep making meatballs and he gets stronger, but she sucks the energy back. This is like a fucking loop. And now, he had the blood. What happens if he has her blood? Is this a disease? <laughs> Maybe this is a mean joke to make. Is this some STDs from the fucking escort? What's going on? W w why, why is he getting sick? Pestilence? Same sickness. Uh, well, I'm not sure if pestilence counts as an STD, but back in the day, they didn't have like these, uh, what's it called? Like uh, antibacterial stuff. Antibiotics, right? Oh, damn, he's on his fucking knees, bro. Dude, he got sucked dry. Is she actually one of our strongest? Who could really fight her? As long as she has those butterflies sucking something, and it's not even the enemy, as long as there's other like sources of like souls here, she can just keep going. What, phase three? Are you fucking kidding me? More meatballs, right? Okay. But the butterflies, if they just like butterfly, just suck them up too. You can't kill all the butterflies. Oh shit. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, you gotta pin her down? But if you keep eating those butterflies, won't you get the sickness? I guess it got resistance to it? They're both equally very strong. Interesting, like, mechanics of, like, sucking each other's, like, energy out, huh? Okay. See? She can just keep healing. It'll just keep going. She'll just scale as hard as he's scaling. Oh! <laughs> okay. Well, 
What happens then if we like completely demolish her like that? Yeah. If he has no face, there's a butterflies around. They are. Yeah, these butterflies, dude. As long as they exist. Okay. If the whole body's crushed, then it's over. I feel like he could, the, the meatball kid could join our side and the cortisone could be like his new mom, you know? What are you doing? If you show a mirror of her, remind her how ugly she got, she just fucking snaps? <laughs> Things literally did get ugly. Wait, wait, don't give me a cliffhanger. Okay, backstory. Okay, she got a new... She got a new assistant. Oh, okay. What went wrong here? Damn, dudes are straight up just buying her. <laughs> How romantic, I guess. Yeah, I mean, kind of, yeah. She says hustling though, right? Really? Are you allowed to do this? The fuck? Who was that? Different guy or what? Could it be the assistant? W was the assistant that did that? Why? Because she said she wants to be with her forever or something. Wait, what? He recovered and he beat the shit out of her. Oh, that's fucked up. It was her assistant. Pestilence. And that's her right now? I don't know. She had this kind of backstory. What the fuck? What happened to the assistant? There it is. The assistant, right? Maybe she just wanted her position. That's why she like did all this to sabotage her. This bitch. So this is where the grudge theme comes from for her. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Ending theme song. Oh shit, we're gonna get three episodes to this arc? Yeah, that was pretty obvious. The mirror that makes people older, right? Does it? Is it the same one? Oh, that looks... She's looking pretty rough, but it's okay. We can heal her, right? Oh, I don't know. Phase three, though. Phase three, next episode. Or just fucking murk her right now. Murk her right now. Yeah, get her. Hell, <laughs> let's go. Ooh, what is that? Oil? Burn her. Ooh, them burn marks are not gonna look good. You deserve this, bitch. You deserve this, bitch. I don't know. Her face laughing like that's kind of funny to me. That's a fucking twisted backstory. And did everyone see it just now? Or was that just K? So she just turns into flames. That's her phase three. They're burning Manse. How do you even pronounce that? I thought we'd be done with this arc with two episodes, but no, no, no. This is not their pop-off episode. Next episode is she got three phases. Pretty cool that the graduates have their own different themes and different stages of power. The courtesan. She's pretty fucking strong. Soul sucking, goddamn. As long as those butterflies are alive, she gets stronger and the more beautiful she becomes until the point that she gets so ugly, you show her mirror combust into flames. That kid also, the meatball kid, also super strong. Anyways, next episode, I'm sure we're gonna win. But hey, if you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.